look, I'm in the game. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really easy. And it's quite fun as well. You ever wanted to be a, a real-life footballer? Maybe Football Manager can be the replacement for you. Yeah, let's get into the video and I'll show you how to do this. Hello everybody and welcome to another Football Manager Editor tutorial. Today I am going to be showing you how to put your own player, put yourself, someone else, a legendary player of the past, anyone, into Football Manager. It's super straightforward and there's no real complication to it and you can make the attributes whatever you want. You can add historical things, you can add positions, you can add everything that I'm about to show you with my player here. So, as you can see, there I am. There's my face, there's my attributes, and there's my positions. You can just see, it looks like a normal f f player in the game, except you've got a, you know, ugly bloke up at the top instead of some nice, fit, professional footballer. And I've made attributes that are completely unrepresentative of my actual ability, but it's like to think... It's, like, it's what I like to think I've got, you know. I did have a very good long throw. I did used to shoot from distance and with power. It was just never very accurate. <laughs> and, yeah, I couldn't really do much of the technical stuff, really. I was very slow. Uh, I could win a header quite, quite sufficiently and all of that. <laughs> but, yeah, this is my player. We're going to jump into the editor, and I'm going to show you how you get started with this. So here we are, in the editor. And what do we do to start off creating a player? You go down to people, which is behind me. This is not very good. Let me move out the way one second. I've moved. I'm over here now. As you can see, here's people. You click add. You click player. And there you go. That It's about as simple as that. As you can see, you've got the ID number, which is, this is important for if you want to add an image to the player. You've got the name, their, their surname, all of that. Person type. Uh, which is just player, non-player, player, slash number. So if you wanted a player manager, you do player, non-player. If you wanted their ethnicity of wherever you are, so I'm Northern European. I have darkish brown hair. I have medium length hair. And I have very light skin. You can go through and uh, pick which one. It, it varies, you know, all the way down from the darkest skin tone to the lightest and some places in between. So if you click that... You can put your date of birth in, so we'll do mine as my actual one. Oh, not that. There we go. That's that. You can put... It's ignored it. <laughs> you can also just do this and click, so like there, for example. Uh, you can then search for where you're born. So I'm from a place called Whitehaven. So there we go. That's in the game. Click that, that puts all of this information in. You can select who your agent is. You can say if you've declared for a nation that's different to the one that you were born in. Uh, if you've retired from international, all of that. Here's where you put your club contract. So I want to be a Newcastle United player. Let me just do that. Newcastle United, click that there. There we go. And this is where you do your contract. So I want to be on, I'm on five grand a week. My contract expires on the 30th of June, uh, 2024, is what I'm going to go with. There we go. Squad status, I'm a first team player. And you can add all of these different things. But now, the sort of slightly more nitty gritty, these are the attributes. Adaptability, ambition, controversy. And you can just edit these to whatever you want them to be. And then you can add, even for when your player retires... What is their job preference going to be? So mine would be manager. You know, as I'm playing football manager, I would want to be a manager after I've retired. Uh, if they've retired for whatever reason, like international and things like that, you can put that there. Put what languages they speak. Days at different clubs, career plans, club vision stuff, if they become an owner and things like that. But here we go, player data. What's your shirt number? My shirt number would always be the number 37. And then this is where you put your current ability in. Leave this one blank for now, until you are filled in, one, your position, so I, I was a left back for most of my footballing career, or goalkeeper, depending, you know, and then these are your current ability affecting attributes, so you edit all of these to whatever you want them to be, between 0 and 20, if you leave them 0, it'll be random, uh, so remember that, make sure you give everything an attribute, and then let's say um, all of these were 10, this would be around like 100 or 90 or something, um, that would be the ability, that would be like a League 1-ish sort of player, 
So you can play around with it. You can look at other players to compare, like, how good do you want to be? You can look at a real-life player within this. If you go to database, people, add condition, and then search, and you want to look, I want to have the same potential as Jaden Sancho. Oh, I've typed his name wrong. There we go, Jaden Sancho. Here he is. You can go, there's his face, because he's got a picture in the game. Uh, if we go to general, you can see his potential ability is 178, his current ability is 155. So if you wanted to do that, you could do it. And then we go back to here, to our unnamed, currently unnamed player. Mental attributes, physical attributes, technical attributes, goalkeeping. Preferred moves, player preferred moves are uh, like just the things that they like to do. So tries to kill a ball, shoots from distance, maybe plays the ball with the feet, likes to beat man repeatedly, things like that. You can add injuries. Um, you can add bans, you can add if they're an MLS type player, uh, relationship with different people, so if you've added like a load of your friends, you could make your friends favour personnel, so say if you ever moved, you could add, bring in a, play, uh, a former friend thing on a contract, and that means that the club that you go to would want to bring in one of the other favour personnel, right? It's really, really quite straightforward, and I'm going to show you how now that you would put uh, them into the game. So, I've already made a file. Here's one I made earlier. Uh, I've already made a file. So, I'll show you how to put that into the game, and I'll show you it in-game, like I did at the start. Right, so once you've saved your edit data files, whatever you want to save it as, go up here, click the database button, scroll down to whatever you called it. So, mine is me and FM. As you can see, I've got a lot of edit data, but I've on I'm only going to load this one, me and FM. Go to advanced settings, wait for that to load. Load in whatever leagues and things you want. So my player is obviously at Newcastle, so we'll just load in the Premier League. And here you are in the game. Let me go over to the Dev Centre. Here I am, Jake Maxwell, and there we are in the game. So, you now may be wondering, how do you add a player face to the game? So I've added myself. The easiest way I can describe to do it, it's a 360 by 360 image of yourself with a transparent background around you. That's all it is. And I'm going to show you where you put the folder, where you put the file, and what you have to add to make it happen in-game. So, you have to go to, in your documents, you'll have a Sport Interactive folder, Football Manager 2020. You'll then have uh, this Graphics folder. And I have lots of different things in here. So, I have a face pack already installed. And if you don't have a face pack already installed, I'll show you the, uh, the file that you need. But... I would recommend getting a normal face pack and then editing the file. That's the easiest way to do it. So we're going to go into this, faces. And as you can see, look, there's loads of faces. And if I scroll down to the bottom, ignore all of these, look, there's my player face. I've added that in. As you can see, here's the ID number. You can enable this in the preferences. You name it the same as the ID number. And then you have this config file here. These player faces are from my uh, current Twitch save. Um, just to let you know, twitch.tv forward slash FC. But yeah, open this file, preferably with something like Notepad++, so you can see what's inside it. Let me get it from the other side of the screen once it is fully loaded. So this is what it looks like. Mine has all these player names in and things like that. But look here, that is the line you need to add for your player. This number will be different for you, probably. Um, so make sure it matches this, this number, yeah, so you can just, all you have to do, control C, one of these lines, control V there, save the file, and that will make this, uh, make the player image you've, you've added to this file go into the game. Now, if you don't have one of these already, it's a little bit on the complicated side to do it, but you've got to have this section of it at the top with these, uh, you're opening a record with the boolean, uh, so you're not preloading. Uh, you're turning auto mapping off, and then this is the list of maps. These are the locations within the map, and you close it off here. This isn't that important. This means absolutely nothing uh, to you, probably. Just download a face pack off of Sorted Out SI or a similar website, FM Scout, FM Base, etc. Go in, copy the line, put your number in, and that's it. As you can see up here, these ones all have different numbers from when it's been updated and things like that. It's super straightforward. So yeah, that is basically that. This is how to get your player in Football Manager, and that's all you need to know to do it. It's actually really, really quite straightforward. If you do have any questions, please do hit me up on my Discord, which will be linked down below. Feel free to DM me or one of the mods and ask a question. Um, more than happy to help. 
And yeah, come check me out over on Twitch where I stream every single day from 12pm till around 4 or 5 o'clock every single day UK time. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.